you can use should and then the main verb when talking about some form of expectation. This is used for present expectations and past expectations. You think something will happen or you thought something would happen. They should be there by now. Here's the main verb and here's the subject. This could represent people traveling or it could be the existence of a thing. Let's say someone left a place at eight o'clock and was expected to be there by 8.15 and now it's 8.30. The expectation is that they should be there by now. It would have only taken 15 minutes to go from start to finish. And now it's 8.30. So they should be there by now. She should know the answer. The expectation is that she knows the answer because She's a good student. If I put this in the past tense, have is after should, and then this becomes the past participle. She should have known the answer. This means that she didn't know the answer, but the expectation is that she should have known the answer. Here is the negative before the main verb. This shouldn't cost a lot of money. So if it's something cheap, such as a mouse, this shouldn't cost a lot of money. I don't expect it will cost much. If I put this in the past, have goes here, and this can remain the same because this is the past participle for cost. This shouldn't have cost a lot of money, but it did. So it actually did cost a lot of money. I expected that it would have been very cheap. You shouldn't need an umbrella today. It's not going to rain, so this is not necessary. You shouldn't need an umbrella. That's the expectation. He should be at work today. He should be at work right now. In this case, he should be at work today. This is the responsibility of a person to be at work. And in this case, it's possible he is not at work but it's his responsibility to be at work. In this sentence, he should be at work right now. It's 8.30 and normally he starts work at 8 o'clock, then he should be at work right now because he's always at work at 8.30. If you put this in the past tense, have comes after should and then this becomes the past participle. He should have been at work and we can change this to by. He should have been at work by now. So in this case it could mean that the person arrived earlier and he is at work now. Although in this case, the verb arrive would be better. He should have arrived at work by now.